Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. You got the Pro Boat UL19 on the block. All right, um, I actually started this video you're about to see. I started this video hoping I could test out the Mad Lizard turn fin. I was putting it up against the straight turn fin. I went out to the pond and I had some technical issues, as you'll see. Uh, so this video is actually about troubleshooting a 3650. If, uh, if you're having issues with contact with this 3650, I'm going to show you guys how to solve the issue. Okay, so stick around. All right, it's a long video, but hopefully it'll help somebody out. Um, hopefully you guys can answer questions I have. And uh, hopefully this video will answer some of your questions. All right, so um, stick around, stick around. Big B here with Ironclad RC. All right, let's get it. Let's get it here. Let's let's get it, boys. Take it easy for a first couple laps, scare these turtles down. Got some kids over there running RC boats. I think I'm uh think I'm rubbing off on people. Think I'm rubbing off on people around here, boys. Got some kids running boats on the other side of the pond. Alright, she's definitely wanting to pick up on the left side with that turn fin. You see that? Plenty of cooling coming out the left side. Last pickup picking up. That's good. All right, I'm coming. I'm gonna come back with the wind here. All right, so she's wanting to pick up quite a bit, quite a bit. So we need to kind of tune. I wish I'd have brought my darn setup board. Let's see if we can get it to stop uh, raising up whenever we give it gas. Alright, that feels a little bit better there. Oh yeah, damn, you could, man, it really hooks a lot harder. It really hooks a lot harder. Big time. Oh, something just happened, boys. Plenty of cooling coming out both both sides of the motor here. Plenty of cooling there. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Now it's wanting to go. Yeah, it was uh, it was like acting like a wire was loose. I don't see no smoke. That's a good sign. <laughs> I don't see no smoke. That's a good sign. One ten on the motor. Ninety six here. 38 on the speed control. One oh two ninety two eighty five. Oh, you see that? So, 
So this is the second time this has happened to me. All right, so what's happened here, what's happened here, you guys, inside this, the motor, there's a little, there's, these are two part wires coming out the motor, okay? You got a little stub, stub wire that sticks out the can of the motor, and then they solder on the actual wire. All right, if these wires get too hot, they're, they're, they're desoldering themselves off right here, okay, right here, where the wires connect to the motor can. Um, it's happened to me before, okay, it's happened to me before. I, uh, the third outing with this boat, I was running on 6S, and this wire and this wire, the two outside wires, desoldered themselves. Same thing happened. It was, uh, you know, acting like there was a loss of connecting connection and I was like what the hell man the brand new boat and uh I got it home and, and, and took the wires out and they had desoldered themselves right here right here so I soldered them back on and I've run the boat about four times with them soldered back on with no problems up until today until just now it got it up to 140 here I guess it may have unsoldered one of my connections here uh, it feels like it's either the middle one or this one um, the middle one I haven't touched all I did was heat shrink it and I, I separated the wires with heat shrink okay uh, trying to cool, keep the wires cool instead of them all being bunched up like this I was trying to to separate them you know uh, so I don't know I don't know what the deal is I don't, I don't know if anybody else has had this problem but um I got it worked out and then just now it's just started letting loose again so I have to take it to the house we'll see what's going on with it all right when it when it desoldered itself the first time it had this on it and all three wires were heat shrunk together okay um, and I'm you know I'm wondering if that's the reason why they may have put this on there to help prevent that from happening you'll see you'll see when I take this apart you'll see what the wires look like uh, This thing's tough to get off. Alright, so I think it was this one. Yeah, so you guys see, you guys see where the wires are soldered onto, onto the the stator here. You see that? It's a two-piece wire. All right, um, and you can see there's 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 plenty there's plenty of heat shrink on. I put plenty of heat shrink on them. All right. yep that's what it was it was the middle wire i just uh i just yep so my solder joints held up all right i just peeled some of the freaking wire cover off of that one i'll, I'll have to fix that but all right so that's what happened look at there that's the stock wire that's the stock wire all right you see that it desoldered itself so I've already soldered this one on this one on and then and then the middle one just came off today so if you guys have this motor uh, I would definitely be careful with it all right or if you're getting a u19 see that I just peeled the coating off it just desoldered itself You can't cut these short. You can't cut these motor wires short. You've got to solder on to this part right here. These motor wires are 
90% of the time they're coated with a special coating and you have to basically clean the damn wire completely before you can solder onto it. All right, so that's what it was. It was the stock wire. All right. I was going to throw the 3674 in the boat and just uh, just run it with this motor here. But I feel froggy, boys. I feel a little froggy. All right. Um, I know it works because I, I did this one and this one. So uh, I'm going to solder this guy right here. Um, if you're if you're doing this to your motor, all right, or say you have this motor that's uh, that started doing that same thing, acting like it was like um, not contacting, you know, contacting the bullets or not contacting or something, then the odds are this is what's wrong with your motor, all right. Most people probably just throw it out thinking it's shot and it's just the freaking wire that's desoldered. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I guess I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, you got to be careful now. You got to be careful. You don't, you know, solder. It likes to splatter. You know, so when you're done, you need to freaking make sure that this motor is clean, like you found it. All right, no little extra pieces anywhere. We're going, we're going to give it the old ironclad treatment. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and solder it on. I'll just kind of fast forward through it, I guess, uh, cause hell. I'm not teaching, I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing, alright, this might not even be how you're supposed to freaking do it, man, who freaking knows, I need a freaking, I'm gonna have to go into my pocketbook and get some freaking upgrades, man, these boats are gonna break my ass, buying motors and shit, man, boats are gonna break me, so I'm gonna go heavy with the solder on here, and I'm just gonna file out around this this cap right here so I can fit a couple extra um, heat shrinks on the wire okay uh, I mean if it don't work it don't work what you know what's what's it what's gonna hurt what's it gonna hurt you know just to try to get it going it's a hundred dollar motor uh, it's a hundred bucks you gotta get another motor that's a hundred bucks you know this right here man this right here shouldn't happen all right, so I tin that that wire up. I'm gonna tin this wire here up. All right, I cut a little bit more of that sheath off so I can get a good solder joint. So there's more wire, you know solder together instead of just a little freaking like the tip of the wire i'm gonna solder the whole freaking wire on Yeah, man, you freaking run boats as much as I do. You run boats as much as I do, something's gonna happen. I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. We'll see if that holds up. We'll see if that's ironclad or not. When I put my heat shrink on with the with the solder, it's not gonna fit through there. Alright. So I'm gonna file this out a little bit. Okay. Y'all comment, cuss me out, tell me I'm doing it wrong, tell me I'm doing it right, whatever. I don't care. But this is how I'm doing it. We'll see if it works. filed out the hole that the wires go through because I'm going to t double possibly triple up the the heat shrink all right probably going to run a whole heat shrink through the whole wire here because my wire 
my wires don't look so great and I'm scared to change out the wire size just because I don't know enough about it to uh, to do that you know and I've got some good wires for it I've actually I would love to put these 10 gauge wires on there but I don't know how that would uh, I don't know if it would freaking I don't know what it would do to the motor basically is what I'm trying to say so I filed out this guy here like I said so I can double up my heat shrinks all right made that hole bigger rounded off the edges a little bit so it don't cut the heat shrink and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it put back together here I'm gonna take it out to the shop blow it off just blow anything in out that I have that could be in there out and um we'll see tomorrow we'll see all right I was gonna this was gonna be the curved turn fin video but got cut short so I figured I'd make a video about fixing a six pole dynamite motor uh, this is the first motor I've ever seen like this I mean it is yeah it is it's the first motor I've ever owned I guess with a two-piece wire like that um, if, when it first happened the first time it happened it really dumbfounded me like I was like what the heck that's why I didn't post it because I wasn't even sure if soldering on the wire would help or if I could even do it all right so before I put all my heat shrinks on I figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing here since we're going through the whole freaking process wasting my time uh I'm just put I'm just cut some heat shrinks to put over my my solder joints here all right and I'm pushing them all the way down all the way down and I hope that's what you're supposed to do but we're gonna find out aren't we <laughs> all right so this video is getting long we'll probably run it in the next freaking video mess my schedule up man all right so you see how far I got them pushed all the way down as far as I could freaking get them okay that way they don't rub on nothing I just got it I just went out there and blew it all off all right like that all right then I've got the next size up heat shrink that I'm gonna cut to size and put over it right here basically just as a chafe guard so so that the heat shrinks don't get chafed on this on this um the exit of the can all right I was real excited to have this motor everybody talked this motor up and I'm not impressed I mean it's got some power and stuff but uh, this is the second time it's let me down once with the stock ESC and once with the upgrade ESC. Alright, so I got my little chafe guard on there. Okay, I'm, I'm almost tempted to do it one more time. Everything else on the boat's been good though. Everything else other than this and a little bit of cable whip the boat has. I can't complain. The boat's been the boat's been ironclad. This right here is my only complaint is this motor. Alright, so I've got got it three layers. Got one, two, and three. Okay. So I'm putting my um my end bell back on. Sorry about the long video, you guys. I know I you guys said not to apologize, but wasn't expecting it to be a long video and I try to fast forward through most of the troubleshooting all right so it's not fitting on there with those third pieces <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna solder all my bullets these these 5.5s and uh get it back in the boat all right um, I guess you guys want to see it run, huh? All right, boys. All right, we got it done. I got it all put back together. All right, she's all put back together. Turned out nice. Okay. Hopefully that works. If not, we'll add it to the to the pile of uh, broken motors here. Got thirty six seventy four, fifteen twelve, three S armor motor old surpass. Uh, what is that? Uh, forty fifty TP power. 
I, I exploded the rotor on this one. Had it on 8S, man. My boat come up out of the water and over revved the propeller and then like a porpoise, <clears throat> exploded, exploded. Actually, you know what? We got another one to add to that collection. Can't forget about this guy. This one right here, I just, that one's messed up too. That one right there can't be rebuilt. The stator's... The rotor exploded. The magnets exploded. And it took me like 30 minutes just to like hammer the rotor out of the stator on that on that TP power. This one's shot. Which those are... That one right there was pretty new. That one's... That's that's an old. I got my, I got my money's worth out of that one. I didn't get my money's worth out of this one. The rotor... The, 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 the rotor slung the magnets third run out with this motor look the damn the winds are freaking brand new on it so if that don't work we'll add it to the pile i got all the wires hooked up i got everything heat shrunk you got it in the boat here cross your fingers boys cross your fingers yeah cross your fingers i guess if you guys are crossing your fingers it's too freaking late but all right let's see what happens Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, it works. <laughs> y'all thought y'all had a show going, huh? <laughs> Use my smoker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Sounds good. So y'all let me know, man. Let me know if you've had this motor and you've had the same problem. I, I You know, this is really the first motor I've ever seen that has a two-piece wire coming out of it. Um, if anybody knows w why it has a two-piece wire coming out, I w I'm curious to know. Um, if you had this problem with your motor, check these connections where it seems like it's not getting contact somewhere. Check the connections coming out the can here. You might be able to fix it, man. If you know how to solder, you might be able to save it. I get a lot of guys, they ask me why I check my temperature so often. Why? Just, you know, they're like, run it. Just run it. Run the boat. Run it. These are, these are new boats to me, okay? They're new platforms to me, okay? Uh, they've got a lot of power going through these boats, all right? I'm trying for speed, okay? Uh, shit like this happens, all right? You, you see me check my temperatures all the time, all right? This motor's never gotten over 140 degrees. Never, all right? I know my motor's never gotten over 140 degrees because I check my temperatures all the time. All right, I check my temps, check my GPS, I tune the boat, all right, I do my new adjustments out at the lake, all right, trying to better my speed. I move my CG up and down, and you've got to open the hatch to do that. So while I have the hatch open, moving stuff around, trying to get better speeds, I check my temps, all right. If you guys don't like, if you don't like it, don't watch the freaking videos, man. Uh, this is how I run my boats, and I, and I do this to teach maybe i can rub off on other people all right so shit like this don't happen all right i run my boats i run them hard all right but i check my temperatures because this stuff adds up you got to start replacing motors you got to start replacing escs and one two three four five six seven eight nine boats ten boats twelve i got like a dozen boats man I got I to gotta replace an ESC in all my boats. That's a grand. That's a thousand dollars because I was being negligent and not checking my temperatures. Uh, I, I do a lot of prop changes. All right. I do a lot of prop changes. I I tried new, new cooling methods. All right. I check my temps all the time. I've, I'm always tinkering with my boats. I'm always trying new things on my boats. So that's why you guys see me check my damn temperature so much. So if you're wondering, that's why. That's why. But I appreciate you guys watching, man. I appreciate y'all hanging in there. If you're watching this part of the video, you're the freaking bomb. You're the freaking bomb. Thank you guys. Thanks to all my subscribers. Um, hopefully this helps somebody out out there. You know, there's really no way to prevent that from happening. Um, I actually had soldered on these 5.5 connectors on here upgraded the bullets okay in hopes hopes hoping that my wires wouldn't get hot all right um i was trying to prevent that all right uh you know testing out the straight turn fin in my previous video um my wires were getting hot so i brought it home 
upgraded the, the connectors, hoping that my wires didn't get hot so it wouldn't desolder the wires coming out of the motor. Okay, so um, I hope it helps you guys out. I know it was a long freaking video. I know it was a long video, but uh, I hope it helped you out. Hope you guys maybe can answer some of my questions that I had in the video. Um, you know, so. Thanks for watching. Big B, with Ironclad RC, channel where we tinker, test, and tear shit up. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Ring your little bell, get notified for future builds, future breaks. Okay, we'll see you next time.